Good morning. We are back with another vlog. Today we are going to Hollywood Studios. So we're going to be booking some lightning lanes with Genie Plus in just six minutes. But I will see y'all there. All right, very successful just now with lightning lane. We got Tower of Terror for 9.15 and then we're going to be doing the Rise of the Resistance at noon. Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? That sounds like a lot of paperwork, but okay. Thanks! Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up! Welcome aboard, folks! We're ready for a relaxing ride around the port. currently arriving in Toy Story Land. Uh, the plan was originally to ride Slinky Dog Dash this morning, but they said it was already down before the park even opened, so we diverted and went to Mickey and Minnie's Railway. But it says the line for Midway Mania is short, so we're gonna go and see if that's true and see if we can ride it before our Tower of Terror Lightning Lane. All right. 15 minutes. Hopefully that holds true. There's no wait, so we're going on Toy Story Mania again. Oh, 
there's like a meteor that comes down with high points. All right, there it is. There we go. Just finished riding Toy Story Mania twice. I got like 190 something the first game, which is horrible for me. I got 232 the second game. Also not great, but I think I'm just getting warmed up. So when we come back later in the day, I'm hoping for the high 200s. Now we have a lightning lane pass to go ride Tower of Terror, my favorite ride in all of Hollywood Studios. Um, so let's go do that. Just Road, Tower of Terror, always such a fun ride. One of my top three favorite rides in all of Disney. Uh, but now we're gonna go ride Star Tours. It's only a five minute wait, but all the videos are brand new. I think it's with Ahsoka, Mandalorian, so let's go check that out. We are here at Star Tours. Stormtroopers will be dead. 
deactivated for sure. Hold it right there, Captain. <laughs> I'm not actually the captain. We're looking for this rebel spy. Have you seen them? No one on this transport. <laughs> We are walking to Galaxy's Edge from Star Tours. It was a good ride. It's, a, it's, also, it's also like not a long wait, so that's nice. If you ever have like downtime between rides. Uh, we got one of the new videos. I think it was The Mandalorian. So that was cool seeing a new one. Uh, but now we are going over to Docking Bay 7 for some lunch. My favorite uh, counter service restaurant here at Hollywood Studios. I always get the ribs and mac and cheese. So, so good. So, we'll get on over there. Here we are. We've got some ribs and mac and cheese. A nice little dessert. And a drink called a Taco Don. Really nice. It looks good. I do have the dog water line. All right, I'm currently checking out Black Spire Outpost, a little market here in Batu. Uh, lunch was fantastic. It always is. I am so full. I love those ribs so much. Um, the drink was also very good that I had. It wasn't anything crazy, but it, it, it was all right. Uh, it's something I would order again when I go back. But now I'm just checking out some of the shops here in Black Spire Outpost. It's a nice little place. They've got some neat little things. Uh, and then we are gonna go ride Rise of the Resistance. I'm getting a high reading on the fuel pressure line. That's better. Check the binary motivator. Hey, I have been tasked with getting you to Bakara. We're at two, blue five, keep tight now. Let's get ready to make that jump to light speed. On my mark. I want to get better than that. Black leader, we're picking up an unusual. We got company, first order of TIE fighters. Resistance conspirators. Cargo 
vessel TR-141 is now under the command of the First Order. You will exit and prepare yourselves for processing and interrogation. Now get out, quickly. Leave us, yes, General. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. The resistance prisoners, you have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. You need it. Securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. I do. A probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Just finished Rise of the Resistance. Uh, Rise is a pretty good ride. I don't like it as much as other people do. I still think it's a very good ride, but I don't think it's the best ride in this park. And also, you may notice, like if you if you've ridden it previously, there are some things that like they haven't fixed. Uh, like the big blaster guns don't move anymore. And there's another scene with Kylo where like the ceiling falls and there's all this wind blowing that doesn't happen anymore. I think. It's probably just something that's broken that they would have to close the whole ride down to refurbish. Not really sure, but it's kind of disappointing. I'd like them to fix that so you get the whole experience again. Uh, but now we are going over to ride the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. 
So let's go do that. Got the Millennium Falcon out here. Here's the ride. Lightning Lane is great. Except Fast Pass was way better. But they just announced yesterday the multi lightning lane pass. It's gonna replace Disney Plus. It's gonna replace Genie Plus, which I think will be really good. Solutions. Today I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilot. We are all done with Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. It's an alright ride. Um, it's nothing crazy, but it's a, it's a good ride. Fills some good time too. Um, it's also a very difficult ride because you, the pilots have to be good at their job. The pilots have to be good at their job. Uh, otherwise it kind of just hinders the whole experience. But yeah, overall it was a good ride. Uh, but now we are going to go head over to One Man's Dream. They're not doing the one man's dream video right now. They're actually doing a preview for Inside Out 2. I want to see it really bad. Surprisingly, I haven't seen it yet. So we're going to go see that sneak peek and go look at all the things in the little one man's dream museum. Before one man's dream, we're going to stop at the Joffrey's cart uh, over here where the entrance to Toy Story Mania used to be. What we got Frozone is actually hanging out. That's fun. Not every day you get to see Frozone. He's right there. Going inside, one man's dream. This is always one of those things that are really nice to do when it gets really hot out and you're tired and you just want to get some AC, take a rest. So. The, this is honestly one of my favorite things to do at Hollywood Studios, just because it's a really nice break. We've got Disneyland. Okay. Got the Disney Wish. Where's that, Mom? Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Walt Disney Presents. In just about 4 minutes we will present a 10 minute sneak peek of Disney Pixar's Inside Out 2. Alright, we got out of one man's dream and we are over here at 
Vacation Fun. It's an original animated short. A ton of fun. And it's also air conditioned, so we're gonna go see that. We got the Mickey design chairs. Vacation fun short film. I honestly was laughing the whole time. That's so funny. Um, but now we are gonna go over to Toy Story Mania again because we have a lightning lane. Hopefully, I can do better than 239, but we'll see what happens. We are back here to use our lightning lane pass. One ninety one is not good. You seem a bit anxious. Ah. Is there a bounty on you? Mm. Last week there was. I had no idea that Grogu and the Mandalorian were going to be here, so that was really awesome. I got a photo with them, so that was super, super cool and a really awesome surprise as we are walking over to Muppet Vision 3D. Okay, change of plans. We are not going to go to Muppet Vision yet because it's time to go check in for our Lightning Lane for the Beauty and the Beast musical that they have here at Hollywood Studios. So that's where we're going to walk over to right now. First one's in here for Beauty and the Beast. The prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away, hideous beast, and placed a powerful spell on the castle. If he could learn to love another and earn their love in return, the spell would be broken. If not, 
he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. Them in a night! No! 
No way safe until his head is mounted on my wall. I say we kill the beast. Kill him! We're not safe until he's dead. He'll come stalking us at night. Such a sacrifice for children to his monstrous appetite. He'll wreak havoc on our village if we let him wander free. So it's time to take some action, boys. The darkness, the shadows, it's a nightmare, but it's one exciting ride. I am! I am! I am! Let your touch, as your heart, screw your courage to the sinking plane. I'll take on your soul to lead the way. Beast is probably my favorite performance in all of Disney World. It's always done just so well. All the acting and singing is always fantastic. 
Um, but now we are headed over to Alien Swirling Saucers because we have a lightning lane. So we're gonna head on over there. Personally, I think Alien Swirling Saucers is kind of a joke of a ride. It's really not that great. I think it was really overhyped before the opening of Toy Story Land. I don't know why there's always like a 40 minute wait because it's really just not good. But it's a ride here. It's gonna take up some time before we got dinner. So we're gonna go do it. I think the Hollywood Studios is really one that'll make you put your steps in because it's really hard to stay in one land and do all the things at a time. You kind of bounce around from each side of the park since everything's just so spread out. I am in my seat. made us get off mid-ride and now we're gonna go on this side. All right, now we are getting on a new one. This is really weird. That was the weirdest thing ever. We, the ride was going and then they stopped and said, please stay seated. And then they grabbed someone's glasses that had fallen and said, actually, you're all gonna exit and go out to the other side. So that was a little weird. Yeah, definitely the most underwhelming ride in all of Disney. But Your attention, please. the show goes on. All right, it is about 5.15. Uh, we're walking to the Hollywood Brown Derby for dinner. We have a reservation there at 5.30. It's really, really good food. So we're walking there right now from Toy Story Land, and we will see you there. Buzz Lightyear is making an appearance. The Hollywood Brown Derby. Our, we got a message that our table is all ready. And we aren't even there yet. It's actually about 15 minutes till before our reservation, so that was fast. Got a watermelon margarita. So I ordered some Melanie shrimp, some black rice. And then I also got some shrimp mac and cheese. Okay, we just wrapped up dinner at the Hollywood Brown Derby. I'm stuffed. The food was so, so good. The watermelon margarita, amazing. Uh, but now we are rushing over to Tower of Terror because the app says it's only a 20 minute wait, which is literally unheard of. So let's get over there and see if that's still true. All right, well, everyone must have saw that it said 20 minute wait. So now it has jumped up to 50 minutes in a matter of three minutes. So. That's nice. All right, so since we're not gonna go ride Tower of Terror anymore now, uh, we think we're gonna try to go see if we can walk into Olga's Cantina. We have a reservation for 9.30 p.m., but getting kind of tired. Uh, we have to be up really early for Animal Kingdom tomorrow, so we're gonna see if we are able to get a walk in there, and then if we are, we're gonna go to Slinky Dog Dash after that, and then head back to the resort. We've got Chewbacca and Ray out in front of the Millennium Falcon. Look at that, that's cool. I don't think I've ever seen them. All right, we were able to get a walk-in, so I'm walking into Oga's Cantina right now. Oga 
Rolls of Session. We also have the Rhodian Ration. And then we even have the Yup Nub. It's always just a very good vibe in here. It's always a good time. They do kind of jam-pack people in here a lot more than they did when this place first opened up, which isn't that great, but it's still a very cool place to come. Okay, just got out of Oga's Cantina. It's always a great time going there. I love going there every opportunity I can. I highly re recommend going at around 9.30 p.m. Uh, after a park closes. It's a really good time to go uh, because there's nobody in the park when you leave and you can just take as many photos as you want, especially in Galaxy's Edge where they've got all the lights and everything. This looks really cool. Uh, but now we are going over to Slinky Dog Dash. It's going to be our final ride of the day because this is... We're going to be in line until after park closes. But by the time we get on it, it'll be dark out and it'll, it'll be like really cool setting with all the lights and everything around Toy Story Land. So that's what we're doing next. All right, so change of plans. We are actually not going to ride Slinky Dog at Dash today. The ride wait was like 95 minutes. Um... And we have other days here at Hollywood Studios, so it just wasn't worth the wait because we're tired and Animal Kingdom's tomorrow, which is the earliest park by far. So we got to be up for that very early to rope drop. Uh, so we're just going to head back, get some rest. Um, that's going to be the end of this vlog. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. And I'll see you on the next one.